did you hear that Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom cut out a lesbian reveal scene from their movie? Hey girl, you think what I'm thinking? That the first trailer to Creed 2 is dropped. I was afraid I couldn't live up to these expectations. What about Michael Bay producing yet another Ninja Turtles movie? No? We've got you covered. Welcome to The Cinephiles, a weekly show where we zoom in on the most buzzworthy news Hollywood and the indie scene has to offer. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to Mojo Talks for The Cinephiles Extended Cut, a weekly discussion show where we break down the week's biggest stories. Link in the description below. Number 3. New Ninja Turtles Movie in the Works by Michael Bay with Michael Bay out of the director's chair for the latest Transformers film Bumblebee, it's fair to say the movie might not have the signature Bay action. But his newest project just might. Bay will be producing a new Ninja Turtles movie film with Paramount Pictures, marking the third attempt at the franchise after 2016's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. We don't need that kind of change. The Hollywood Reporter reports that Paramount is looking to reboot the franchise after chairman Jim Giannopoulos took over the position in March 2017, who's made it a primary focus of his to reinvent the studio slate and IPs. Oh, she's so hot I can feel my shell tightening. We can hear you. Bay will produce alongside Andrew Form and Brad Fuller of Platinum Dunes Productions, but a director has yet to be named. For those unfamiliar, the Ninja Turtles focuses on four mutated turtles named after Renaissance artists who protect New York City from the villainous Shredder. Number 2. First Creed 2 Trailer Released MGM released the first full-length trailer to Creed 2 earlier this week, hoping that the buzz surrounding it will lead to a knockout at the box office. Michael B. Jordan and Sylvester Stallone reprise their roles as Adonis Creed and Rocky Balboa in a sequel that hopes to capture the intensity and nostalgia of the original. I want to rewrite history. Don't pretend this is about your father. In this installment, Adonis wrestles with the pressure of building his boxing legacy, all while dealing with the struggles of love and family. This all comes to a head when his next match is against Victor Drago, son of Ivan, who killed his father in the ring years ago. Listen to me, this guy is dangerous, but you don't think I could beat him? The trailer captures emotional moments of Adonis contemplating what's important in life and devastating violent boxing scenes with Kendrick Lamar's DNA adding to the intensity. Creed's Ryan Coogler will not be returning as director, however, as Stephen Capel Jr. has taken over those duties. The film hits theaters November 21st. Before we get to our final entry, here are a couple new releases. How many can you save? Eleven species. Blue is the last of her kind. You'll never capture her. We thought you might know someone who could help. A rescue op? What could go wrong? Hey, Blue. You know me. Come with me. You're an unusual man, Mr. Bird. You speak seven languages. You're an athlete. You're more than up to the physical requirements of the job. What job? Number 1. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Cuts Out Lesbian Reveal Scene Hollywood is slowly starting to incorporate the underrepresented. Films are including more minorities in their stories and are also incorporating characters from the LGBTQ community. Solo, a Star Wars story touched upon it with Lando Calrissian. Everything you've heard about me is true. And more recently, so did Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Well, kind of. But not really. Daniela Pineda, who plays paleo veterinarian Zia Rodriguez, was written as a lesbian. But the movie decided to cut out the one scene that revealed her sexuality. This is not your fault. But it is. No. This one's on me. The scene in question had Pineda and Chris Pratt's characters in a military vehicle, with the former saying, Square jaw, good bone structure, tall, muscles, I don't date men, but if I did, it would be you. It would gross me out, but I would do it. Pineda told Bill the studio cut the scene for time concerns, and that she, quote, understood why they cut it, end quote. Also known as Glad, says that only 12.8% of movies last year featured LGBTQ characters, which is actually the lowest percentage since the organization started keeping stats in 2012. It was all a lie! Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to subscribe to our Mojo Talks YouTube channel for the video version of The Cinephiles Extended Cut.